Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. We're gonna check out the latest update 10.5 of the full self-driving beta. I'll show you the turns and roundabouts like we're doing now, and I'll speed up the straightaways because you know, they're straightaways, they're kind of boring. So let's see what it does well and see what it doesn't do well. I will say overall, the 10.5 update is definitely much smoother, but it's definitely not ready for prime time yet. All right, here we go. All right, in this case, there's a car parked on the right-hand side and an oncoming car. Couldn't have timed it better. But the full self-driving did the right thing. It slowed down, let the other car pass, and then it just went right by it. All right, here's the first roundabout where it needs to make two right turns. Uh, it's going to pull up and stop, and there's another car coming on the left-hand side, which is just gonna turn. So it now sees that it can proceed, and it proceeds with the first turn. Again, it's always a little cautious, but I'd rather be overly cautious than overly reckless. <laughs> so let's let it make the second turn, which it makes no problem. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here's a roundabout it always struggles with. Now two cars just passed, so there's nothing coming. And this time it did proceed um, faster than it did in 10-4. But it gets to this hill where it can't see all the way around to the left, and it really takes its time trying to make this left uh, to go right. And so if there was somebody behind me, they'd be annoyed right now. And then once it sees the coast is clear, it makes the right turn, does everything properly. But again, it just takes its sweet time getting there. Now in this case, it's gotta make a right turn. There's a one oncoming car that passed by and it makes the right turn. It again, peaks out. And this peaking is supposed to be faster, which it definitely is. All right, we're coming up on a left turn where it normally makes this turn okay. Um, it's a little jerky when it makes a turn, but in this case, I had to take over because it was going to proceed and there was a car coming. So again, this is when you have to pay attention. You will have to take over at times because otherwise it will crash into cars. So that was one that I had to take over. Otherwise, uh, that could have been a bad accident. Here's an easy right turn. No struggle, no problem here. Makes the right turn and proceeds down the straightaway, no issues. All right, we're coming up on a left turn, a traffic control left turn. There's a car in front of me. The light's red, so we're gonna have to wait for the uh, light to change. I'll go ahead and speed that up so we don't have to really wait for it. And now the light's green, we proceed, but watch how jerky the wheel is on this turn. So again, it makes the turn, stays in the lane, but it's really jerky doing that turn. So certain things just haven't gotten smoother. Certain things have. Now we're coming up on another left turn. And this is one it always struggles with because this light is not always green. Sometimes it's yellow and it just doesn't know when to go. So you'll see me put my foot on the accelerator just to go ahead and tell it to go. And it's making the turn on its own, but I'm accelerating, telling it it can go ahead. All right, so now we're coming up on the right turn. So it gets in the right turn lane automatically. And again, this is a, this is a light, 
but it's a red light. So sometimes it will try and make that right turn on red and that is what it's going to do. But I intervene because uh, I didn't trust it. So there was another card making a left there and I just went ahead and took over uh, so that it, I could go ahead and make the turn myself. Now for the rest of the ride, which we're arriving here at Lowe's, um, I just took over because it just, you know, at this point, uh, I didn't have anything left to prove. <laughs> so I will say that 10.5 is definitely an improvement over 10.4 and 10.3 and 10.2, uh, but it is uh, still a beta. It's still a work in progress. Um, it definitely has gotten better in this release. The peaking seems to be a lot smoother. The curves and turns are certainly better, but not perfect. And the uh, shadow breaking has definitely been or definitely been uh, decreased in this version. So it, it was doing a lot of shadow breaking before, now it's not.